What's up, Young Bucks? In today's video, we're going to really be covering emotional intelligence and in basketball and how these two things actually do correlate with each other and how you need to understand this as this is just as important as building your own basketball IQ, right? And so to actually gain emotional intelligence, you need to understand self-awareness, right? Knowing who you are and what are your strengths and weaknesses and understanding to yourself, like, what kind of person are you? How would you describe yourself, right? As a player first, right? So maybe you're more of like a quiet player that just likes to just walk in, stay focused, right? Or maybe you're the exact opposite where you're a person who likes to communicate and be very vocal, right? Either way, it's understanding who you are first. And then from there, the next step is understanding, you know, your social awareness, right? understanding that social intelligence part of yourself, right? So maybe your teammate gets back from having like a really bad game and you as a player should try to actually encourage him, give him positivity, right? Instead of just blaming him for maybe having a bad performance, uplift him and encourage him, right? Maybe there's, you're a starter on your school's team and there's a player on the bench and you have to put yourself in his shoes, right? He's probably very frustrated. He's not getting enough playing time. He doesn't really like like even playing basketball. And so every time he's on the floor, maybe with you or even without you, you're yelling on the bench, right? Or you're yelling and telling, encouraging him to be, you know, be good and to do good. And maybe he sets a good screen or he makes a good shot and you're like clapping and you're very positive and encouraging the person, right? Because by you doing this, you're not only having good emotional intelligence and becoming a better basketball player with that, but guess what? You're gonna become the leader of your school's team, right? Because the best players on the actual court are the guys who have good emotional intelligence and on top of that have great basketball IQ, right? Because in overall, it's gonna make you a better decision maker combining your emotional intelligence and your basketball IQ, right? You won't just take a bad shot when the crowd's yelling or you won't force anything. You'll just let things not necessarily come to you, but you won't force anything at the same time, right? Being able to make good decisions in crucial moments is key to being a great basketball player, right? And so with all this being summarized today, I encourage you young bucks to really, really understand the importance of emotional intelligence and understanding that combining this on top of having good basketball IQ is going to make you a phenomenal basketball player. But if you guys would like to see more of this, more in-depth basketball education, I encourage you guys to join Basketball Journey Academy. It's the first link down below where I have many members that have contacted me and have said that they're very appreciative and grateful for the advice that I give. And so if you'd like, you can take a look at it down below. And you young bucks, have an amazing rest of your day and go out there and keep hooping.